I have something which I really think could help you with your A-level physics exams this year. And I've made this for a number of reasons. The first reason is that, I suppose for the last few months, is I've been working through hundreds and hundreds of questions that physics and math tutor put together, and that's questions by topic. And what I noticed was that although you might find lots of questions about quantum physics or about electricity, it's actually quite difficult to find questions about the experimental practical skills that you might be assessed on in written papers. Now, for those of you doing AQA, this comes up in paper 3A. Um, it might be spread through the different exam papers for um, OCR and for Edexcel. The third paper is when it has this kind of practical focus. And I think this is something that students really find tricky um, to actually kind of prepare for. Now, the other reason I did this was because uh, Primrose Kitten, she's been going on at me for years and years to actually make these kind of practice or predicted papers. She knows that her students, the people who buy it from her, have found those incredibly useful for all of her subjects. And again, you can find those linked beneath this video. And she said, I should be doing the same thing for A-level physics. Now, what I've produced are these. These are my um, practice papers for the practical side of A-level physics. Now, I've got three of them, which I initially did for AQA. I've got the alpha version, the beta version, and the gamma version. Um, and the reason I called them alpha, beta, and gamma was because if I called them sets one, two, and three, then I would get confused between paper one, two, and three. If I called them set A, B, and C, then that's going to then confuse you between paper three, A, and then the optional topics. So I've got alpha, beta, gamma. You know the letters, you know the alphabet. And for each one of these, um, which you can buy as an individual student, um, inside it, it's got a huge amount of questions, which are in the style of past exam paper questions. And actually, by putting these together, even though I had help from another um, ex-head of physics, and I had another physics graduate kind of checking my work, um, even though they helped me with it, I still learned a huge amount about the way that exams are put together, you know, the way they have figure three, the way they actually lay things out. Now, in addition to the questions, which you'd expect, there's also a section where I have a mark scheme. Uh, and this is hopefully relatively straightforward for you to use to kind of give yourself the marks available. So that's not really that different to many, many past papers. However, this is the thing that I think makes this a game changer is I have my work solutions. So what you can see is as you go through this, there's a set of model answers that I've written that I think can really help explain what the mark scheme doesn't. So I've got my model answers here explained for all of the questions. Now, for AQA, which is uh, the board that I think most people are doing, I think about 54% of students the other day who I surveyed are doing AQA for A-level physics. Then what you can do is buy paper alpha. Um, it's only £2.99 on my shop. If you like that, you can buy the beta version. And if you like that, you can buy the gamma version. And what I've been really pleased about is over the last few weeks when these have been for sale, is that lots of students, they'll buy the first one, and then they'll come back and buy the second one, and then they'll come back and buy the third. And it's the same with teachers. Although this one is a student individual version, I do have a version that teachers can buy if they're going to use it in school. And that means if you are a student and your teacher has given this for you to use, and it says for individual personal use only, have a word with that teacher, send me an email, it's just not above board. So I did that for AQA, but then of course I had the rest of you, uh, some of the other 46% who aren't doing AQA, saying to me that can I do a set for OCR, for Edexcel, and so on. So what I did was I took the same questions and I basically combined them, I edited it a little bit, and I've now made a couple of extra versions. So basically I have a version here uh, for Edexcel. I've got another version which is for OCR. Um, and what I did was I basically put those three exams together and made this mega pack, so it's like pack one, of practical skills assessed in written papers. And there's a bit of a forward as well where I kind of explain about how this could be assessed in each of your exams. Um, but effectively they're the same questions, but I think these are more appropriate and easier for you to use. So the OCR one um, I think is suitable if you're doing the spec A which again, most of you are, and the kind of 10 kids or so who are actually doing spec B. So that's the OCR set of questions. Um, I've got them for Edexcel as well. Um, again, this is suitable for those of you in England, and also any of the, the massive international following I have who are doing the Edexcel international papers. Um, but effectively, the questions, they're going to be asking you things which you might not be familiar with, but that doesn't matter. In any exam coming up, there will be questions about experiments that you will have never carried out before, and that's to make it fair for everybody. 
What they're really looking at, the people who are setting your exams, the people marking it, is can you deal with uncertainties? Can you outline a clear method for reducing errors in your readings? Can you maybe uh, look at some data or an equation, maybe fit that to a y equals mx plus c graph, and then can you use the gradient or the intercept to maybe find another physical constant? And that's what these questions are all about. So if you are doing A-level physics this year, then do think about buying a pack of these practice uh, questions. They're not predicted. I have no idea. I cannot predict what might come up. I don't think anybody can, but these practice questions can really help you. And if you want to get your own copy, you can buy some in my shop. Anyway, um, I hope that's helpful. And even if you don't want to buy these, you can still head over to my website or Physics and Math Tutor, where I've got over 192 pages of multiple choice questions I've worked out where I've actually shown you my working out for the answers. So yeah, um, hope that's useful. Good luck this year. Thank you.